I'm Lainey Plumley. I graduated from Daniel 2021. Um, I now go to Coastal Carolina where I major in National Security and Intelligence and I double minor in Psychology and Criminal Justice. So I'm just going to get right into it. Did you take a college tour? I did take a college tour. I toured two campuses, um, Coastal Carolina and USC Beaufort. Overall, it was very helpful in making my final decision because um, once until you step on the campus, you really don't get a feel for it. So when I stepped on USC Beaufort, I just realized how small it was and it just wasn't the right fit for me. So the first thing that I was kind of asked to talk about was college tours. Um, I went on two tours here, one official, one of me just kind of walking around. The, uh, the official tour was kind of them just explaining to me how the school works how freshman year is, because freshman, I don't know if y'all know anything, freshman year here is a little bit different than uh, than any other, really other school, I guess you could say. Um, but the second tour when me and me and my dad um, just kind of walked around, it was it was where I really decided like, this is where I need to be. Um, kind of helped me realize like, just where I want to go, why I want to be here. And it, ended, uh, it, really, it really helped me decide like, this is where I need to be. Um, so I highly suggest going on college tours. I figure that's usually what y'all already know, but if not one, go on two is what I would suggest just to make sure you really are in tune with where you want to be. Hey, so I did not take a college tour. Um, looking back, I should have, but I'm at Clemson, so I grew up around Clemson, kind of knew my way around campus. Um, so it wasn't that unusual that I didn't take a college tour, but it would have been a really nice way to meet people. Um, so I guess I regret not taking one, but nonetheless, we're here, so. Hi, okay, um, my name's Norali. I am a sophomore at Duke University. I am a bio major, not on pre-med track. I'm doing more research. And actually, I'm at a neuroscience lab right now doing research on Parkinson's disease. So that's a little bit about me. Um, did I take a college tour? I did. So I took a college tour of Duke right before COVID hit back in junior year. And I took a tour of UNC and Duke at like around the same time. And I think it was really helpful just because I got to compare the private and public school differences and like that kind of like made me decide that I did want to go to a private school instead of a public university and I think just like seeing the overall campus and like how like the environment was along with like the classes the food hall just like the overall dorms like everything about like the Duke environment helped me decide that I wanted to go here because I could like see myself stu studying here if that made sense like I felt like I belonged in a way so I think it played like a really big part in me deciding to go here so yeah hi my name is Della Evans I go to College of Charleston I'm a biochem major and I'm just gonna answer a few questions that, about the college process um, so I took a couple of college tours of a bunch of different colleges um, I toured C of C multiple times before making a decision I will say it is helpful to go out and be on campus. There was one college in particular where like, I stepped foot on campus and it was the weirdest thing. I just immediately knew that this was not the place where I wanted to be for four years or more or less, depending on your plan. Um, so it definitely is helpful. It's also helpful because you can meet with professors that you might have for your major or different staff people for the college. Um, and I have a friend who would just find a college student who didn't look like they were doing too much and say hey if I pay for your coffee will you meet with me and just tell me a little bit about the college and she said that that was super helpful because then you're getting the view of a student that isn't like filtered through by the admissions team so I don't know something to definitely think about what's going on guys my name is Brody Khan I'm a freshman here at Clemson. I graduated from Daniel last year in 2022. And today I'm just gonna be answering some common questions about people that are getting ready to go to college, apply to college, um, all that good stuff. Just gonna be trying to help y'all out in this process of choosing where you're gonna spend the next four years. And hopefully these, uh, these answers help you out. So let's get into it. 
I did take college tours. Um, I took tours to Clemson and TCU, which were my two top schools. And I think that the tours are extremely helpful. You know, going to the university, feeling the lay of the land, seeing what the university is gonna be like, I think is extremely helpful in making that decision. I think that taking college tours is really important for anybody that's deciding where they wanna to go to school because it just gives you a good feel of what the university is gonna be like when you get there. And, you know, it was super helpful for me and I bet it'd be super helpful for you. All right, um, second thing is how many colleges did I apply to? I believe I applied to about like five or six. I know Clemson, Coastal, obviously here, Tennessee. Tennessee was in my top three. Um, Wofford, uh, Charleston. I can't remember if I applied to USC or not, but um, I applied to about six or seven, uh, just off the top of my head. Um, it's usually really good. I liked being able to just kind of knock two out every time that I felt like I needed to start making a decision. So I'd go from seven, I'd go to my top five, I'd go from my top five to my top three. My top three ended up being like Clemson, uh, Tennessee, and here. And I just kind of ended up ended up here. It just made, made the most sense for me to be here. Um, I would definitely say no more than like eight though. Um, any more than eight, you're gonna feel like you have too many options and too many options will just stress you out more about where you need to go. So if you kind of limit yourself as to like, I don't wanna go super, super far or super, super close, um, just kind of keep it, keep it in a nice like seven to eight range is what I would suggest. Um, any more is just a little stressful in my eyes. I applied to three schools. I applied to TCU, University of Alabama, and Clemson University. And I think that three schools was perfect for me. You know, I had an idea of where I wanted to go and what I wanted to do. And so three schools is all I needed to apply to. With that being said though, I know that not everybody has that clarity um, that I had going into their senior year when it's time to apply to colleges. And so I would just recommend applying to as many schools as you want. You know, you can never apply to too many schools, but you can, you know, you can always make the mistake of not applying to enough. So I think that it's important to just apply to wherever you think you might want to go and then take those tours, go visit campus, go see what the university is like, see if you like it. Um, I wouldn't take people's word for it. I would just, you know, go see it myself and see how, see how I like it. So I ended up applying to four colleges, I think. Um, looking back, I wish that I, I'm very happy that I'm at College of Charleston, but I do wish that I applied to more, or at least that I had applied to some more challenging schools. Um, all I really did was safety schools. Like, I knew I was going to get into all the schools that I was applying to, and I knew I was going to have ample scholarships, or I should have ample scholarships because of just what I know about myself and my academics, but I kind of wish I had at least tried for something that was more of a reach to see if I could get in, if there was like any opportunity there, but I like closed the door before I had even gotten in there. So I applied to Duke ED and before I heard back, I had applied to two other schools, just Clemson and USC, just because they were in state and I like wanted to like know like if Duke wasn't an option, where else I could I go? And had I not gone in, I did have a few more other schools on my list. I think I had like six or seven other schools that I was looking at, but because I got into Duke, I did not even bother applying to the rest of them. Had I not gone in, I definitely would have applied to all of them. And I think I had a good number just because they were all like schools that had different like types of like what I wanted and like what I wanted from each school. And I would have like gone to either of those schools and been happy. So I feel like I had a good number. So how many colleges did you apply to and looking back, was it enough? Um, I'm not quite sure. I think it was around five that I applied to. Um, basically, I just picked schools that were at the beach because I just wanted to live at the beach. Um, so I think five was plenty. You definitely, it's hard to pick, but you definitely need to have an idea of where you want to live and that will definitely help you um, 
decide what schools to apply to. This was extremely dumb of me, but Clemson was the only college I applied to. I don't recommend doing that. Um, definitely apply to more than one college because actually jump on it early as well because I didn't. And anybody who knows me would probably be shocked by that, but I was so lazy when it came to applying to colleges, which you shouldn't be lazy about. But, so I applied to one college and it was Clemson. And I was lucky enough to hear back very soon. So I didn't have too, too much stress, but apply to more than one college. Just listen to me, apply to more than one college. Um, yeah, it was way too little. Like I should have applied to a lot more than one college. So listen to me, apply to more than one college. Okay, so the next one is, what were your expectations of college versus college realities? So my biggest expectation was how hard classes were going to be. I thought they were going to be so much harder than high school. There's going to be a massive workload. You know, like, basically what everybody tells you that college is. But once I got here and I got settled, I realized that it is a lot of work, but it's definitely doable. And if you have your teacher's support, it's definitely going to help you succeed in the long run. So, when I was walking into college, I was like, okay, I'm expecting a lot of academic rigor. Okay, and granted, there's a lot of academic rigor, but that's what they expect you to know coming into it. So, you're prepared for the academic rigor. Daniel does a really good job of doing that. But, what I, the reality I hit when I got here was, Okay, the academics, yeah, they're hard, but I was expecting that. It's a lot harder than you think it is <laughs> to find and connect with people because you get in these classes and you're like, everybody's just terrified. Um, nobody wants to talk to anybody. And then you're gonna be around these people and you feel like everybody has their click but you. And it takes a lot longer than you would think to find your click. So watch out for that. Don't get discouraged if you can't find your best friend within the first week of college. So, it takes a So, uh, the expectations versus the reality. Like I said, this is not really a normal school when you're a freshman. Um, but that being said, my expectations were a lot, like, worse. I was kind of expecting to come here and just expect to just get yelled at all the time. Which, honestly, it's, it's not even like that. Um, I mean, of course, you're going to get your stern talking tos, but, uh, I mean, you kind of know what you sign up for whenever you come here. Um, if you choose to come here, you know what you, why you're here and like what you're gonna go through. Um, but the reality is like, you think like they're gonna be people on you at all times, but really they're only on you for a little bit. And once classes start up, um, that's when really everyone kind of like backs off because everyone has their own studies they got to do. Everyone's just, everyone's here to get a degree, you know? So. Once a uh, challenge week is over, um, that's what we call it now. Once that's over, everyone kind of goes and does their own thing and they start focusing on their classes and it's just, uh, it becomes a lot more tolerable, I guess I would say. Okay, my college expectations and reality are different, but not really different. So yes, of course, I expected it to be hard and I expected it to be a lot more stressful, which at times it is, just like during midterm season, like exams when that's happening. But overall, I feel like college is less stressful than high school just because you can plan your own schedule. So you can choose like when you wanna take classes or how you want your day to look like. And then you can also like pick your classes based on what you're interested in. So I feel like I'm more actively engaged in the conversations in this class just because I'm wanting to take those classes and just because I'm interested in the material rather than me taking it because I have to. But other than that, there's also like the idea that you're like only studying like all the time and not having fun, but Duke also has the very much work hard, play hard mentality. So yes, we study, but we also have free time, which I wasn't really expecting. And I wasn't expecting like all like the fun that we got to get to have even like during like midterms week or like during exam week, like we still have fun. So I feel like that's a good balance that I wasn't expecting, but I'm glad it's, it's happening.
My expectations of college versus reality were pretty similar. I knew that college was gonna to be tough, especially as an athlete. Uh, I know that there's a lot of stuff, I'm, you know, I knew that I was gonna be busy. Um, but the biggest difference is that class is a lot different because of the lectures. So as in high school where your teachers would, you know, kind of help you with your notes, tell you what's important, give you an idea of what's gonna be on the test. In college, the teachers just lecture and you just have to hope that you pull out the right stuff from the notes or from the PowerPoint that they're doing. And you really have to study hard. You really have to study hard and pay attention to everything that's going on in, in the class. I don't really know if I had a bunch of expectations for college. Um, yeah, I knew that it was a super transformative time for a bunch of people, that people look back and really appreciate their college days. Um, and that people do work hard in college. And I found that all to be true. I don't feel like I had any sort of crazy expectations for college, but I'm also just in my personality, not the type to set super high expectations like that generally. I guess sometimes I can, but in general, I kind of avoid that. So there's nothing really interesting to talk about. Um, Um, where do I typically study? Um, depending on the time of day, if it's before 7 p.m., I'll probably be at the library just because it's quieter. Everyone there is just trying to work. Everyone's just chilling out, making sure they're getting assignments done. It's a, there are like plenty of study rooms. You can just put some earbuds in and just get to town on some assignments. Just kind of knock them out as you get them assigned. Um, something really interesting here that, I, that actually drew me closer to coming here was that there is something called evening study period or ESP from 7 to 10.30. It is like you are devoted to your studies. Like no one's going to come up here and like mess with you or like start, like I say, give you, give you your stern talking tos. Um, they're literally just like it is devoted to you studying and you getting your homework done. And I actually really like that because it's like, like this is the time for me to actually like zero in on my assignments whereas like compared to me just goofing around at the library at this time um, it's really nice because I just kind of get to like truly focus on what needs to get done. So at Clemson they have the Neary Student Enrichment Center which is where all the student athletes go to study and so we are actually required as freshmen in our first semester to do 10 hours of study hall so Whenever I study, I'm always in study hall. I've not done homework one time in my dorm room this entire semester. And, you know, I think it's super helpful to have a place like that. But I know that a lot of people that aren't athletes that don't have a study center like that go to the library. Um, I've heard that the library is super helpful. They have centers such as the comp center where you can go and study and you can get help. Um, and a lot of universities have those type of things that are there to help you be successful in your, in your uh, pursuit of academic excellence. I typically study at my house. Um, sometimes I get, like I reserve a room in my school's library or there's some um, buildings with classrooms that I like to study in. College of Charleston has a building called, we just call it Rita, but it's like Rita Liddy Holling School of the Natural Sciences or something like that. But there's some nice sitting areas with like a table and some chairs and whiteboards you can bring your markers and draw all over it for organic chemistry or math or anything that you need so those are my main areas i'm lucky enough to have a home base that i feel really safe in and i have really great roommates so i do typically do most of my studying here so i study quite literally anywhere on campus depending on what time of day it is what i'm doing after what i'm doing before just whatever my mood is so we have a gothic library here and it's very harry potter type vibes and i love doing a lot of my heavy readings or just like a lot of studying done in there just because it makes me feel really productive sitting in there so i'll get a lot of my work done there but if i'm doing like other stuff throughout the day then i'll like work in the food hall i'll work in the student union just because they're so close to like all of my classes so i can just stop by there do my work done between and then go back to class if 
that's what my schedule looks like. If it's nice outside, we'll sit in the grass and do work. We'll sit in the common room for our dorms and we'll do work there if I'm with a bunch of friends who have worked with me. So it just really depends on what kind of day it is, what we're doing, what kind of work we have. But library is really big if I'm trying to get a lot of work done. And then if it's just like fun work or like not a lot of work, I'll I'll sit wherever I find friends or wherever I'm like, okay, yeah, like I don't want to move. This is working, so yeah. Okay, so I typically study either in my room if it's at night and I'm just preparing for a test or if it's during the day I need a little extra motivation, I'll go grab a Starbucks or something and go sit in the library and do my work.